Hey, what's up guys? We gotta do some fall fishing with the double tiny zoom fluke jigs, all right? You can call it high low rig, you guys can call it tandem rig, doesn't matter, all right? I'm gonna tell you guys how I'm doing today and I am doing a fitness style. We got tiny zoom flukes, okay? This is very, very small. I have it on some VMC 1 16th ounce jig head. This is four pound line. I have my fish band clamber hyper micro and also the magic trout rod from fish band, both from fish band, okay? So this is gonna be a BFS fishing session. If you guys wanna do this, I do recommend a stiffer ultralight or light. I definitely do recommend light, uh, whether you guys use bait casting or spitting. Uh, when you guys throw something a little heavy like this, you probably do want a little stiffer rod. Plus there's gonna be some big fish. Hopefully no pickerel's gonna bite off my lure today. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, one thing I wanna to note to you guys, if you guys are kayak anglers and you guys are interested at this magic trout rod, uh, it's actually a very decent rod. It is uh, pretty stiff for an ultralight. I think it's more closer to the ultralight slash light side, right? But it makes great hook sets for um, you know some, some bass lures. One thing I don't like about this is because it's a pistol grip, right? Very short pistol grip, and it's really really dangerous for me to carry it on my kayak. But one thing that's cool about this rod, right? is that it's four pieces. I can break down four pieces and shove it inside my kayak. And that's what I've done uh, for a little bit. And then, you know, once I set it up, I kind of put it in my rod holder, which is a little, a little iffy, all right? But anyway, uh, so far so good. Once I finish fishing with this, I'm probably gonna break down and leave it inside my kayak. But anyway, let's get out there and catch some fish. Let's go. All right, fam. I am sure you guys are ready to see some awesome fishing action. I better put this brakes up a little higher because it is heavier. Now, one thing you guys need to keep in mind when you guys fishing stuff like this, because you have two lures, cast softer the first time, you know? Like right now, I'm gonna do my first cast. All right. Yeah, I definitely will probably do better with my other rod set up. I have the Corrado on right now, or that one, the Dragon. It's a longer rod. And uh, yeah, it'll do a lot better for twitching. And it'll do a lot better for um, setting a hook and also casting too. Cause right now it's, it's very short and because there's a lot of weight and a lot of, um, you could say, you know, swinging momentum, the shorter rod is probably not gonna do as well. All right. But I am pretty sure that this specific one, the Magic Trout, because it's a lot stiffer than let's say my Zephyr or my Aries, it would do a definitely a better job than those. So, which is why I kind of opted for this. And plus I still want to fill around with this uh, ride before I uh, talk more about it in the future. Um, so yeah, let's see if we slay some fish. My target right now is uh, anything that bites. Uh, schooling bass would be great, but I would love to get some crappies. I haven't been fishing for crappies for a while and uh, I think this would be it. Uh, right now, uh, these two jigs are about a foot apart. So uh, yeah, you guys could fiddle, you know, figure uh, how far you guys want to part. And oh man, I lost an eye already. I, I smashed that earlier on the side of the kayak. Uh, but yeah, let's get out here and let's do some slaying. All right, first cast doesn't go that far because of, um, like I said, the weight is probably, oh, got first fish. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, oh no, it's not fish. <laughs> it's muck. Now, I actually felt a fish at first, but uh, my drag was not on. I think it pulled me in and I didn't set the hook. Seriously, hold on, let me fix this and uh, let's keep fishing. As you guys can see, Jimbo still have his uh, fish finder. So a couple things I have to say, since I haven't really been on this lake this year, like only a few times, you know, I always, always map, you know, record sonar and, you know, reproduce maps so I can see how the contours are. And also Jimbo always look at the temperature and figure out, you know, what's the best part of the uh, lake to fish on that specific time. So right now it's a whole guessing game, you know, I, I went through my typical hotspot cove, uh, no bueno, one, one bite only, and you know, <laughs> Jumbo didn't really have a hook set because his drag was not done correctly. And now I am in open water. You can see there's a lot of gunk out here. Uh, seems like everything's heading out to the open water. So um, yeah, it's very interesting, you know? Um, once this stuff clears out, I think it, it'll be a better opportunity for us to you know, do more different type of fishing. But right now, I'm just trying to find out where those fish are at. Like whether it's bass, uh, you know, crappies, it doesn't matter. It's very interesting not seeing any fish out here. Very interesting. So I'm gonna try some deep water for a second by the dam and uh, let's see how that goes. But you know, these muck right here looks very interesting. It makes me want to throw a frog. Don't you guys? Hmm. Oh, what the heck? A 
damn definitely is the spot to be at. Let's go. Let's go. First fish is a Mondo yellow perch. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at this, fellas. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Off he goes. Beautiful fall perch. We need to catch some more of those. I got tapped, but got him this time. Oh yeah. And this time we got a bass. Come on. There we go, come on. Small guy. I got him. Look at that. Off he goes. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. We're here for some Gigantor Blue Gills. Hold up. Look at that gill, baby. Look at that gill. Big mind of blue gill. Oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, off he goes. Did I catch something already? Oh yeah. That's a hot spot, baby. Bass. Bass? Oh no, paper mouth bass. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Been looking all over for you. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that color. Pop him off. Come on, if you can pop him off, use a tool. Let's get it done. Oh, here we go. Off he goes. All right. I wonder if I just dip this thing here. It's pretty deep, right? So maybe if I just dip it in, I might just catch something. There we go. Oh, I'm not dipping it in because I'm a little close. Let's do it just like that. Oh, got hit. Oh my gosh. The top one. Top one. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a big sli Oh no, he, he snapped it. He snapped it. Man, that is crazy. That is crazy. All right, let's try something different. Today, we're gonna have two products from Mew Fishing Supply. Thank you, Ethan, for sending this guy the Horsefly, this, which is uh, the latest and greatest soft plastic. And uh, I always like the Donkey Tail Junior. So this is what we'll do. All right, we have two hooks, right? So we gotta put one, and I'll say the swim bait is gonna be the bottom. And the top is gonna be this little sucker. Now, these guys are like Z-Man stuff, okay? So don't mix these stuff up with any other plastics. It's gonna melt, all right? But let me show you guys how stretchy this thing is. Look at this, ready? Whoop. Oh yeah, Z-Man doesn't make plastic this small for, you know, finesse fishing. So if you guys wanna look for something just like Z-Man products, you guys definitely wanna check out Mew Fishing Supply. Let's go. Let's give this another shot. I think the hot spot's right there because the wind is blowing here, right? Oh, it went down and the fish already hit. That's crazy. Oh, got another one. Oh, here's a bite right there. Yeah, so the wind is blowing here and it's hitting this cove right here and that's the deepest spot. And like, there's, there's crappies everywhere. So yeah, tandem rigs like these will catch you guys so many fish. And, uh, yeah, those zooms would be great. So with these right here, I swapped through these because it's a little smaller, a little bit finesse because I've been having a little trouble uh, finding them and having the bite saw switch to a smaller profile. And these are floating, so it actually sinks a little slower. So I'm hoping that I get better um, bites when it falls a little slower, right? Like I could probably put on a 132nd ounce instead of 116th ounce, or 
Here's another option, right? What you guys could do is just put the jig at the bottom and use like an Aberdeen hook on the high one. And then that would be a true high-low rig and um, it wouldn't be as heavy and it would drop down a lot slower. So if you guys want to see me do that rig sometimes in the future and slay them in the fall, just leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to do so because that was my OG rig. I actually have a lot of videos of doing that and catching a lot of fish, like multi-species. You know, sometimes when I um, focus on doing a fishing rig, uh, I don't pay attention to this crazy dam right here. Uh, 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 uh. Make sure I push myself away from that. And then we're off back to fishing. Like this is a noisy spot too, it's by the road. But it's where the fish are at, so that's is, this is where Jimbo's gonna be at, you know? That's a bite right there. And that's, oh, that's, that was a bite right there, and... And they're, they're like right over there. So let me just go back right over there. Let's try a little further away from the furthest spot. Let's get it closer. Oh, that's a fish right there. I'm gonna let it go down just a little bit. Maybe I get a second fish, you know? Because I, I have two rigs there after all, right? That would be fun if I could catch two fish at one time. Wait a second, wait a second. What happened? Ha! Ah, so, uh, probably not worth having two rigs right now. As you see, one of my rigs came off and it's likely, likely a pickerel. So, I'm gonna stop complicating things. Jimbo is to stick with one lure only and I'm gonna go back to the flute because you know, I always really want to portray the, the fluke lore, but man, these, um, these lures are going to last a really, really long time. I'm just going to cut this uh, extra line off and, you know, go back to single jig and go slay it. Okay, before I switch back to the tiny fluke from Zoom, I want to catch a few more fish with this lure here. And the reason why is this lure here is from Ethan, a friend of mine, and uh, he just had a baby, you know, he's a father just like Jimbo. And um, you know, I wanna support another father angler. Okay, so make sure you guys check out Mule Fishing Supplies. They have different type of plastics. And I think this specific one, the new, uh, this horse fly, right? And I'll show you guys a little closer up once I get this fish out. Nope. What's a plastic? All right, so yeah, this plastic is very, very tiny, small. And uh, I feel like it's a great bait for uh, ice fishing and ice fishing is coming very soon. And because um, you guys like slower falling lures, right? These are floating, they're buoyant. So when you put it on your hook, technically it will sink a little slower. So it changed the presentation up a little bit. So give it a shot, guys. Now, we know that spot has fish, so I'm move out just a little bit and see if there's fish elsewhere. Look at that. Crappies out here now. They're here. So I probably don't need to be like so close to the road because it's so noisy there. I prefer uh, a little bit quieter so that I get to spend some time with you guys, talk to you guys, you know what I'm saying? You know, most of the time I'm talking to myself. At least that's what the people over there in those Homes are thinking. <laughs> Jimbo's crazy. All right. Oh yeah, got him. Perchy, perchy. Another yellow perch. Oh, he's warm. Oh yeah, it's still that early fall. The water down below is still warm. So um, yeah, man, I think there's uh, probably another week or two and then it's gonna be like frenzy feeding style. All right, folks, now down to the plain old jig head. All right, plain old jig head. So this guy, all you have to do is twitch it in the water. Twitch it in the water, cast and twitch because it doesn't really have any sort of like wobbling tail. It actually sinks pretty darn fast. So um, cover water with it and you'll catch fish. So let's give it a shot. 
It looks like the fish are back in that deep, man. Just right there, that's it. No other spots. They're big too, holy smokes. Well, if the fish are there, you know, I guess I don't mind the, the noise. Because I could fish for these slabs all day long. You know what I'm saying? That's my style. Already got a fish on. That's crazy. That is crazy, guys. That is freaking crazy. And they're getting bigger. I could probably throw a big lure and I'll get a bigger one. Look at this. Not too bad. And they're warm. Like I said, man. If you guys cold, throw your lure out there, catch a slab, and hug it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just hug it and you'll be warm. Oh, God. Just another one. Non stop action. Oh, crap. Oh, crappy crap. Oh, quick release. Let's go. Ah, so much gunk. So much gunk. Fish, already. Okay. Okay, slab it up. Let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. False slabs. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. If you guys remember earlier, I was doing a, a high low rig. So I had a Palomar knot on my remaining a uh, jig right when it broke off now i decided to cut it off and uh retie with a loop knot and i have a modified christon craze loop hybrid that i kind of derived myself maybe i should call it uh, my own knot the raw fishing knot loop knot um, but you know jim was still doing some research to see if there's actually a name for it but yeah maybe uh, once i finished uh researching by this winter i will do a tutorial but uh yeah Switching it to a loop knot will give a different action, especially when you guys twitch this. So hopefully I can entice more fish to bite. Let's give it a shot. And fish on. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Big, big, big. Hey, 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 easy. Not terribly big, but legal size big. Yellow perch. Easy. All right. There he goes. All right. Off he goes. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Jimbo's back. To the spot where there's fish. That's right. That's right, guys. Yep, Jimbo went around the lake and I was like, yo, the fish are not biting. The fish are getting smaller. And the big fish just hang out right here right in my nose and uh sometimes they say it and i do agree don't leave fish for fish that is if you're satisfied with the fish that you're catching you know like i could have been catching this all day but i spent an hour and a half paddling around looking for you know more fish different fish and uh yeah it's almost at the end of the episode can you believe that oh there it goes oh came off it changed so quick man like one one minute they're right there, next minute they're only a few inches away. That's a fish right there. Oh yeah, baby. You know what? I think the key is finding these muck here. These muck, oh man. They're just giving them a cover. And you get slabs like these, man, all day long. All right, let's get it to the left there, see what happens. Fish, got him. Oh man, oh man. These are what I'm talking about, these freaking slabs. Super duper fun guys, this is fun. All right, guys, you see how these gunk right here? This is uh, 
breaking apart from fall, all right? The wind is blowing everything here, but it actually makes some good fishing spots for, uh, for these crappies. And right now, there's a lot of bait fish coming up this end of the dam, I guess you could say. They're congregating right here, and the crappies just love being there. And it's gonna be cast after cast. Like, I could probably just fish it for 15 minutes, and that's one episode. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna start from here. If I need to, I'll just plop myself. See, look, that's a bite right there. I'll I just put myself on the other side over there and, uh, you know, catch fishing nonstop. But actually, I like this spot right here. This spot is actually, um, you know, make it easy for me to cast towards the specific spots that I want to. But, oh, there's one right there. Uh, I actually want to, what the heck? That was not, <laughs> that was not a crappy. okay? I think that might have been a pickerel. Whew, guys, the double jig. It was a little bit difficult to fish today with that because, um, there's a lot of gunk, still uh, in the early half of the fall. And the gunk is breaking up pretty darn good, I have to say, it's breaking up pretty darn good. And um, the fish was very tough to find. You know, the fish are not in specific spots. So, without my fish finder, I opt to go to places where I believe the fish were at. And indeed, they're at the deep spots right by the dam. And they actually congregate by those uh, weed stuff, the algae, floating algae that's like dying. They've been blown all across Across the lake towards the dam and it just congregated in one of the coves a lot of fish a lot of small fish a lot of big fish uh, most of the fish were um, right by the dam a digger spot but uh, eventually as you guys saw I went to single hook instead single jig and I did a lot better easier to manage I don't need to keep cleaning up my my rigs and uh, also you don't have to tangle that's really really important when you guys are out there have limited amount of time fishing like me you know after I'm done I'm going home daddy duty you know, uh, fish don't wait, the baby don't wait, wife don't wait either, all right? So uh, <laughs> uh, I threw a couple uh, lures as well, other than the, the tiny fluke, and they all produce really well. They all do different things, you know. The, the fluke is really good for twitching, or you put it in a float and, you know, small little pops, kind of like a, a tube, you know, you pop a tube. Uh, but you have swim baits, you throw some swim baits. It's constant reeling or yo-yoing, that works too. Uh, threw some um, mule, some some of their uh, plastic, and it worked too. Uh, I really, really like those, and um, perhaps if I get some more small jigs, I'll put those on as well, and uh, you know, have some fun with that, uh, those lures from um, Mule Fishing. Thank you, Ethan, once again for sending those to me. But guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I left some links in the description as well. If you guys want to uh, buy some stuff, you know, you guys have questions about my setup too. You know, everything is down there. Guys, the fish don't wait. As I always say, get out there, catch that fall bite. Let's go.